when I was coming to college, I thought that you know I, I would be a great student. I, I would have great extracurriculars. I would be in a fraternity. I thought of myself as like a really smart guy who works really hard. You know, who's good and nice, uh, who believes in this God. You know, that loves me a lot. Who has excellent things planned for me as long as I work really hard for them. That's more or less, you know, the way I conceptualize my faith at that point in time. And, you know, and I definitely thought I was better than others because, you know, I was smarter, I was harder working, and I felt like I'd earned and deserved everything that I had. And so it was these feelings of superiority that I think really left me feeling isolated. College is a time when we become ourselves, and we become ourselves through communities, and so that's why it's critically important to find community that can shape who we're going to be in terms of values and practices and behaviors in college. I knew being in a fraternity that I would slowly but surely subject myself to just debauchery and spiritual debasement. So that's why I chose Christian Union. And the moment I realized that, you know, I had been isolated, it was like the first time I really found myself at home in a community. And, you know, that was Christian Union. And it just made me a radically different person. I look back a couple of years ago, and I realized I would definitely not be, you know, at daily prayer at 4.30 two years ago. Like, I would have been studying. And, uh, you know, put it to good use and be productive and, you know, go into business and eventually into politics and, you know, do stuff like this, you know, because that's what the world needs me to do. I didn't realize that, you know, what the world needs me to do is, like, be a good friend, you know, to be a person who loves the communities. We are here creating community not just for college, but for life. So Barrett is 50 and has pressing questions. He has people who he's known for years who have followed Jesus who he can call. And I just think of like the friends and the people I've really grown to love like in Christian Union and how much they mean to me. And I, I never really expected that in college I would have, you know, dozens of people, you know, I could trust with anything or call at a moment's notice to do anything or, you know, be there for me. And just emotional support of, of, of the group is, is amazing. Barrett really is one of the students that's a great example of he has a, two roads he could have easily followed. He could uh, go in the direction of serving himself or he could go in the direction of following Jesus and serving others. Prior to being in Christian Union, I really measured my life and my success uh, with grades and eventually I was going to measure it with money. Now I measure success by the love that I have for those around me and uh, the love that I feel in the community I'm in. We've met every week for two years. I've been to his house in Kentucky and I have no doubt that we will uh, remain connected uh, even long after he graduates. I have a drive to change my city, my state, my country. We're in a country of well over 300 million people and way too many of them suffer, way too many of them don't have opportunity. So w whether it's me using my business knowledge or down the road going to politics, until there's equality, opportunity, and the gospel preached everywhere, you know, the world's not going to be a good place and a world I'm not content to rest with. And I'm called to change that. And that's why I'm grateful, you know, for Christian Union. And I mean, it's the single best thing that's happened to me in college and probably happened to me in my entire life.